So I made a post saying that if you treat a man good, he will see no other woman but you, right? Mm -hmm. So you got women saying, oh, I totally disagree. It's a 50-50 chance. Why? Let me remind y'all women that y'all choose the men that you are dealing with, baby. Choose different. Choose wiser. Yep. Choose better. And you will have that experience out of a man. All the men on my post is like, yes. Those are the good men that you overlook. I said what I said. And my name is Charlie Kimbia. Most of you religious people are slaves. You didn't hear me. Yes, sir. You're slaves. Well, wait a minute. I'm not a slave. I'm free. <laughs> no, not quite. You are a slave to a concept of religion and a concept of God that you have out grown mm. and any time you force a people to hold on to a concept that they have already outgrown you are making them a slave and i must say this in the islamic world the reason that there's so much unrest among the muslims is because they have outgrown the concept that have been previously understood. Here go ye, he stand up. We all saying, yeah, he right. But boy, when they grab that baddest, that's always been a tactic. You take the baddest, yep. bring him out in front of all the slaves, and you yep. tie him up, and you whoop him, and you whoop him, and you whoop him, and you keep whooping him in front of all these slaves. This one, this y'all baddest one, y'all richest one, he gonna stand up to us. And we all sit there and watch. Don't nobody join in. No, no celebrity, no entertainer. Jay Z punk ass turned on him. They whooping him. <laughs> they whooping. They putting them lashes on his back. Then he find out. Toby, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They still whooping him. I'm sorry. I'm yep. sorry. Gonna stop whooping him. And we ain't said that's enough. Yeah. We ain't stood up and said, "Fuck y'all. That, that's enough." We ain't playing no more basketball. We yep. ain't doing nothing no more. Cause we can all come together and sh shake our dick at them if we want to. I would never ever choose a handgun over a shotgun for home defense. And I'll show you exactly why. I have one of the most common handguns in the world. It's a Glock 17 chambered in nine millimeter. I have a target at 10 yards away. I'm gonna fire five rounds into the target. Damage report from one, two, three, four, five rounds of nine millimeter. Now I'm gonna be shooting one round of double lot buckshot from the shotgun. For reference, here's the size of one double lot buckshot compared mm. to one nine millimeter round. Okay. As you can see, they're pretty close in size and they're actually both flying at similar speeds. Okay. And there are nine double lot buckshot pellets in here. Now you can see how much damage a Damn. single buckshot round did compared to five shots Damn. of the previous nine millimeter. You want to know something? You've said okay, it. Okay, you want to put that you on my said it. I'll take it. Okay, okay, good. You know what I'll say? Yes, if we don't get what we want one way or the other, whether it's through you, through a military, through anything you want to call, I will shut down the government. Okay, absolutely. Fair enough. And we I am disagree. proud, and I'll we tell disagree. you what, I am proud to shut down the government for border security, Chuck, because the people of this country yes. don't want criminals and people that have lots That's of correct. problems and drugs pouring into our country. So that is correct. I will take the mantle. I will be the one. That is hella to correct. I'm not going to blame you for it. The last time you shut it down, it didn't work. I will take the mantle Good. of shutting down. That is and I'm going to shut it down for border but we security. You shouldn't okay. shut it down. But you, the Thank you very much, everybody. Yep. You know, black people live rent free in the mind of a lot of white supremacists. Let's go ahead on and check out this video from a Walmart. <laughs> Do you well, understand that none of you, you will get... If you put it that way... Do you guys understand the consequences of what you've just done? No, no. no. You, you guys are literally going to a college. You guys are not going to get any scholarships because this is a hate crime. We all dropped out of high school. It's okay. <laughs> if I still don't think it's appropriate job, you guys are doing this, it's, it's really... A good one, too. It's, it's really not... See, they thought that was funny. Now, this happened actually in Utah. 
We don't, not even in the majority in Utah like that. Black people live nowhere near that place. It's very rare you see black people. Right. But we live rent free in the minds of white supremacists. And you see, it's their children. They already infected them with white supremacy. So when you say it's the older people, uh, it's not them. But you know, watch later when they get found out, they'll be crying, oh, you know, my little child, he didn't mean that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He know what he was doing. He was laughing. And I hope they get everything that comes to him. You know, don't talk to Kyrie by himself. He can go and look at the uh, horror of the Holocaust. Why don't you come and look at the horror of what your parents have done to black people in America and throughout the world? Why don't you come and study and repent of your evil to us? Then maybe we can sit down and have a talk like civilized human beings. Hey. You know what I don't like about a lot of these rappers? These rappers be quick to come out and say something about each other, but they never speak on the bullshit that they happen. Boosie's so quick to keep talking about Kanye West, Kanye West, Kanye West. Nigga, you the same nigga let Mike Tyson basically ask you, as a man, do you suck dick? And you set your ass in that chair and you kept fucking smoking. You ain't say nothing tough to Mike Tyson. What? And as a grown man, he asked you basically, do you suck dick? And you didn't say <laughs> shit, but Kanye West ain't even talking Hold to you. And you got something to say. I don't like you niggas. I don't like you niggas. Y'all niggas poison y'all own community. Y'all mad at Kanye West for some words? He ain't out shooting nobody. He ain't killed nobody. He said his fucking words. Well, damn. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all be weird as hell. I don't give a fuck whether I like what he said or not. I'm not about to keep bashing this man on the internet, nigga. Sure. And Mike Tyson asked you, do you suck dick? And you <laughs> sat there and smoked your blunt? Fuck out of here. I'm questioning it. Okay. You and I have a right to question you, it. Absolutely. You can't tell me, you can't tell me, you can't tell me with your accent that me as an American <laughs> Jew black person that I cannot question that death and question the means behind that. That was not, put on camera I'm, I'm not saying you to can't traumatize. Question. I'm not fin la 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 means let me finish. Okay. I'm not finished talking. So we can't, I cannot. I uh, see because you distract my thoughts and then you try to make me look like a crazy person and you feel you have the right to cut me off and I've proven you, you guys don't want it with me. This is like Terminator 20. You've never seen this before. You've never seen this before. So well, I want no damn. one to play with me. Mm -hmm. I have the right to question because that videotape was used to traumatize my people and force us into the democratic vote. It was like, yo, we want to do your MTV Cribs. And I was like, oh, and the first thing they, asked, they said was, all right, we got a couple of houses picked out for you. Wow. And I was like, oh, oh okay. Shit. I said, you know what? I got a house for y'all to come to. <laughs> and yo, straight up, yo, like, no, no BS, yo. They came to my crib. And they walked in my door because I caught them off guard. They have no, uh, they have no clue on how I was living. So they walked up in my shit and they, they started looking around like, yo, you live up in here? I was like, yeah, I live up in here. My cousin was sleeping on the floor. And after I showed them the crib, they went outside and had a meeting. <laughs> so, so and it was like Just a film crew of almost this size, and they dumbed it down to like two people. <laughs> one camera guy and one sound guy, and that yeah. was it. Because that was all that could fit in my house. And they shot it, and at the end, they edited it and whatever. Yes. I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like, I don't want to come off here like I'm some woman hater, because, you know, I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know, I just find them to be like relentless. Just every day, they, they just they just gotta come at you. They just wake up, they have an agenda, and so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries, and every day they just keep fucking, just keep coming at you, right? You gotta deal with that every single day. Hey, honey, you wanna shit? And you literally, you know, every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, just eroding a little more of your life away, you know? Just waking up inch by inch, you know, every day just... Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. <laughs> Where'd you buy that? That's ugly. Throw it out. So one day he you're just hanging lying. out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating there with your baseball cards. Lying. You're waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets. I still like sports. Black people don't have a racial ego. 
You disrespect Chinese, they gonna come at your ass. You disrespect the European Jews, they gonna come at your ass. You disrespect the Anglo-Saxons, they gonna come at your ass. You disrespect the Arabs, they gonna come at your ass. You disrespect the Mexicans, they gonna come at your ass. You disrespect black folks. We will forgive you and we will ask you wow. to be more compassionate and understanding and merciful towards us. We're the only group without a racial ego. We are the only race. This is why we are the doormats for everybody else in the country. Yeah. This is why we are the doormats for everybody else in the country. You cannot insult another race and think you're going to get away with it. You cannot insult another race and think you can get away with it. Mm -hmm. But you can insult black folks and we will forgive you before you get arrested. We Wake up. Watch this video to the end. Look at you. With your little pop guns. Killing each other. Robbing each other. You are the manifest evil. But what's the unseen power that's manipulating your ignorance, causing you to act as you act? You're not acting on your own power. You don't yeah. even realize you are being manipulated. Yeah. All of yeah. the peoples of the earth. Yeah. Black, brown, red, yellow, and white. Jew, Gentile, Protestant, Catholic, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu. The masses are being manipulated. Why come on to the program with a bonnet? Well, honestly, I'm comfortable. I could take my bonnet off. I know there's this whole dilemma with the bonnets and things. Yeah. I don't even, I don't know. I'm comfortable. This is me. Okay, right. But you want a high value man. And my channel has almost a million subscribers and almost over 700, almost 800,000 on Instagram. And it's seen by hundreds of thousands of men. People. Duh. 20,000 people in here right now. Duh. And... and you think this is the best look for you for what you want as an outcome? I mean, I've been sitting here watching your live. I could have sat here and combed my hair down. Why didn't you? Prepared myself, but this is, yeah. I think this is the best okay, look. And th okay, and this is part of the reason why high value men, they care very much about how their women think because they're a representation of them. Whatever uh, motherfucker got to say about Tupac, you know what I'm saying? say that shit to me because I was with the nigga, you know what I'm saying? And if you think he was doing all of this bullshit and this gay shit or all, whatever the fuck you trying to say, nigga, and, and a motherfucker tried to talk about he went to a gay club with Queen Latifah, with Queen Latifah. that was mm. Peanuts. Right. We all went to Peanuts. I sit in front of Peanuts and look at all the lesbians and shit. Hey, baby, you know what I'm saying? You think you want to change over this time? You might want to, you know, you might want some dick tonight and stuff. <laughs> look at his hair. You know, of course I'm going to sit in front of Peanuts and pop it. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to complain. 20 years later, and people are starting to like put a lot of dirt on Pac's name. It was inevitable, you know. Pac even said the shit, you know, I'm riding in the car with the nigga and he like, ain't nobody gonna be able to, telling me in his own words while we riding in the car, nigga, ain't nobody gonna be able to compare the best rapper in the world in this motherfucker unless they compare him to me. Look what's happening. You can't compare every, every nigga that come out. Oh, he ain't fucking with Tupac. That's because he's not. If you're yep. over 25 and you're trying to compare yourself to Tupac, you're lost. Yeah, with, the dark, with the darker Jews, the 12 lost tribes of, of Israel, who we are, because we Jewish also. We, we're from Africa also. We're the blood of Christ. So we're not just black. We are Jew, just like the Jewish people. And now we're coming into money. But the main thing is... Give me the book right there. Pictorial History. Pictorial History of Israel by Jacob A. Rubin. All right, the first page of the book, the very first page, they show you pictures, a photo of the Israelites in slavery. Read that bottom left. The fuck? Black as hell, right? Who's you were challenged! You better show historical and biblical facts, you bastards! Which one of the curses do you fit according to Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68? Where my is it man, at? My guy. The hell is this? Facts. Yo, what tribe are you from? Now, you, 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 you ain't no damn Yehudi. Listen, mo most niggas send their girl to the gas station to pump gas. That's a no-no.
You ain't never supposed to let your woman sit outside that motherfucking gas pump pumping that gas, nigga. Never. I done seen young niggas sitting in the car while the girl do it. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, I, I done seen every time somebody knock at the door, the nigga let the woman go, baby, go see who that is. Or if he look out the door and it's a white man, he run to the back and say, baby, go answer the door. See, that's what the old slave had to do. Put the oh. woman out front for protection. Okay. Hope, hope, hope the master fuck her and don't come in and beat and kill him. <laughs> See, that's how weak that, that's how the subservient Damn. nigga used to be. The real nigga answered the door, snatched it open with his rifle, standing right there asking that white boy what his business doing here. So now the today nigga don't know how to, he don't even know how to cut grass and make the line straight. You know what I'm talking about? In the yard. Yeah, he can't even do that, sorry motherfucker. But you go go out there and keep your tennis shoes clean. Hey, bro, who show are you on? Honestly, fuck you and your show. Okay, nigga. get the like, fuck out of here. I will get the get fuck, fuck out of here. here. You Whoa. get it's given you ain't get pussy until yeah. you was 20 something years old. Fantastic. Fantastic. It was actually 18. You should watch 18. the show and figure it out. But anyway, 18. go ahead. Fuck out of here. You look like a clown. Who looks like a clown? You. Get out of here. I'm not better than any bitch you ever been with. Look at you. Look at you. You run, you run a show on literally. You look wild right now. Oh, with 13,000 people watching. I don't give a fuck. You run the show debating about and with women. What you does that say this? about you? Pussy ass nigga. Yeah. Like a, a, get her ass out of here. Get out of here. I'm a clown. Yes, you are. You look wild right now. Oh, you, you'll do what? You'll do what? You'll do what? You'll do what? Get a shot up. You heard Yo. Okay, bring him back. Get him, bring him back. Bring him back. And I don't miss. Yup, do it, do it. Grant, let me again. Do it, do it. Fantastic. Are you anti-Semitic? Anti-Semitic? You've uh, met many of the things that I've read about you, and you've made a mention a couple of times about the Jews and everything, and I'm wondering if you are personally anti-Semitic. No. Uh, how can I be anti-Semitic when the Arabs are semi Half the Muslim world uh, is Semitic. If I was anti-Semitic, I'd be anti-Arab and anti-everything uh, else. No, I think this, that in this country, there's one mistake that the Jews make. Uh, they put themselves in a position where whenever anybody gives an objective analysis of the role that they play, uh, they defend themselves by accusing you of being anti-Semitic. And, and uh, a Negro right. is not anti-Semitic when he says that the, the man who's exploiting him in his community is white because it is a white man who owns all the stores. Now, is hmm. it a, an accident that these whites who own these stores are Jewish? Hmm. If it's an accident, then uh, the fact that he says the Jew on the corner is exploiting me uh -oh. isn't an anti-Semitic statement. It's just more descriptive of the man who's exploiting him. Damn. Little key passed away. Yeah, a young nigga with a Damn. bad kidney. Say shit out of luck. Yeah, his partner say he was sipping syrup. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't born with a bad kidney. He done doped himself to kidney. We've been telling these young niggas sipping that syrup and all that shit go make your kidneys go bad. Uh, nigga, this is choice. Your God didn't have nothing to do with this. The devil didn't have nothing to do with this. The white man didn't have nothing. This was a nigga that liked sipping syrup and his kidneys went bad and he died. Who feeling sorry for him other than his mom and children? I'm not me. I live my life how I wanted to live my life. Why y'all sad when I die? When it's time to die. You've been living life how you want to live it on your terms. Now when it's time to cash in for living life, oh, oh he died. Nigga, we all got to go. Oh, he died of bad kidneys. That's what happened when you sip that syrup. Oh, he died and she died in the car wreck. Bitch was driving drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got killed in the street. He was killing people. We got to be real, man. Now, what is wrong? It's almost a paradox that America, possessing all the economic affluence for enjoying life, virtually leads the world in crime, narcotics abuse, pornography, immorality, and even debts. We seem to be naive to what is happening in the real world. So what do we do? We watch spectator and entertainment events on television and try to forget it all, hoping that it will somehow go away. Or we take another highball and try to relax. The rest of the world watches our self-inflicted wounds with amazement. Mm. They cannot understand why we wash so much dirty linen in public. But tonight, before we take a look at the future, we should look at the past and remind ourselves of the roots from which we sprang 200 years ago. Man. Kyrie has been made a villain because they don't want to run my nigga his money. Mm. Listen. That's, That's the truth. The truth. Listen. They rehiring people in New York 
that they told you can't work because you won't take the shot. In fact, they telling people you getting your back pay because it was unconstitutional what they did. The Nets owe Kyrie millions of motherfucking dollars. We got to pay him what? And he didn't play? We, we got to make him a villain. We got to take a retweet. That's what we'll do. We'll take a retweet and make him out to be public enemy number one. You know how much money they did. that they didn't have to pay him? And now it looks like they might have to pay him? <laughs> Run my nigga money back. In the lessons given to us by Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praise is due forever, he said, don't continue to use baby language. And some of us thought he meant swearing or profanity, and profanity is the misuse of language. We don't have to curse to make our point. That is baby language, but that is baby language on the surface. What is real baby language? Baby language is that which only allows you to communicate with others in the crib with you. Brother Ben added that. But when you grow up out of baby expression, then you can communicate to the intelligent scholars and scientists of the world, and they will not be able to ostracize you or isolate you and put you in a crib because of your children language and yes. mentality but you will be able to talk to the world why are you suing whack 100 for five hundred thousand dollars? oh he lied and said i'm fucking a preacher oh yeah yeah nah you can't lie and say Damn. a nigga gay and nigga ain't gay who a straight motherfucker can't call a nigga gay hmm. gay people got to call you gay hmm. where he get his gay information from <laughs> You got a point. When have we ever known for WAC 100 to hold any information he got on any nigga? This wow. nigga went on Earl and said that Nipsey, they got a gay sex tape of Nipsey. What? This man went on Earl. WAC 100 said they got a gay sex tape of Nipsey. This man got stuff on everybody. So I'm saying, well, nigga, if you got something gay on me, produce it. At least tell us the pastor night and tell us the church right. or something. Now, now, now WAC just said on, uh, I think, yeah, No Jumper podcast that he don't want no problems with Charleston White. He said, I'm fucking a pastor. <laughs> or the pastor fucking me. Man, that man, that nigga got problems forever. 